friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a wish list plant haul. So if you're new here and you don't know me already, my name is Emma and I make house blending content all over the internet. So if you want to follow along with my house blending journey and learn something along the way, stick around, watch some more of my videos and subscribe to my channel. Right. Let's talk about these wish list plants. So I think a few months ago now, I did a wish list plant video where I talked about all of the plants that are on my wish list at the minute. I will link it up in the clickable eye and you can go watch that if you want to see because a lot of them still are. But in that video, I said y'all could vote on which wish list plant I get with super thanks and I will get it and unbox it with you. So y'all voted and I got the plants, the plant. And then I also decided why not have my patrons also pick out a wishlist plant for me to get. And then I picked one for myself as well. So all of us are picking these plants and I've got a little wishlist plant haul for you. So I put a poll out over on my Patreon about which wishlist plant they wanted me to get and they voted and this was the result of the vote. They voted for me to get a frickin' Hoya New Guinea Ghost and I'm so excited about it. And I got it the other day, and here is me opening the package. I am so freaking excited about this. So, I mean, you all know what's in this box. I know what's in this box. It's gonna be a freaking Hoya, freaking New Guinea ghost. <laughs> um, so, I am so, so thrilled about it. So, I got this on eBay. So it's like some random collector, I guess. Um, and it was, I think, 120 pounds, which is not cheap, but I'm pretty sure it's like a decent-ish size plant. It's not just like a two-leaf cutting, like you can get a lot of Hoyas in at the minute. So I'm really excited. I can't wait to, to see it. Okay, this looks like a very sturdy box. Excited about that. Um, just wrapped in some newspaper. Okay, you can like kind of see it through there. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Deep breath, Emma. <laughs> I'm so excited for this plant. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at that absolute beauty. Oh my God, it's stunning. It is a bit wrinkly. I have a feeling it is a bit dehydrated. Look at that. Look at that wrinkling in there, not ideal. It's okay. I don't know how long it's been in the post. I think just a couple of days. It came Royal Mail, so. Um, what was it Royal Mail signed for or next day or something? Um, but it, it came quite quickly, so I'm hoping that it won't be going through too much shock of like postage. It is stunning. So I'm just checking it for pests really quick. Oh my goodness, look. It's like a decent size, but like, look how silvery blue these leaves are. They are so, so light colored. I'm going to pull out because it's not very like sturdy in the pot to see its roots. So it's not got a huge root system, but there are some good roots on there. So I'm not worried about it. I think it's just a bit dehydrated. So I'm going to be giving it some water freaking immediately. But oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe I have this. <laughs> I'm so excited. I mean, my patrons did a good job picking this one. Oh my God. I can't believe I own this. <laughs> so here is how it's doing today. 
it is actually looking a whole lot healthier. It's not nearly as floppy. I watered it pretty much right after I filmed that other clip and it has been pretty happy since. I think it's still acclimating to my home, but it is growing. I mean, it's not growing anything yet. It's been a few days, um, but hopefully because it is a bit more of an established plant rather than like a one or two leaf cutting, it will grow slightly faster than if I had just gotten a small cutting. And sometimes I feel like with Hoyas, like especially the rarer ones, if you want a plant to grow quickly, getting a cutting of a Hoya isn't, at least for me, what works because they do take a little while to get started and start putting out quick growth. Once they're established, they grow so fast, but when they're in these sort of small stages or propagating from a cutting, they can take forever to like start going. So I'm, I'm actually, I think spending that little bit of extra money was worth it. This was 120 pounds from eBay, so definitely not cheap, but I think it's pretty good value, especially since they're not really selling these around. Like I've not seen any plant shops with them. It's only like private sellers. So yeah, that's so exciting and it's so freaking cute. I love it so much. Yay. And then I have two boxes here. Two freaking huge boxes. So, one. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Two massive boxes. I didn't expect them to be this big. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing what's inside of them now. So I think there should be one plant in each. So I got these boxes from House of Kojo, one of my favorite online plant shops. Um, I am actually affiliated with them as well. They are like one of my favorite plant sellers. So if you do want to order anything from House of Kojo, um, use my code GOODGROWING for 10% off your order and then you get some discount and I get a little bit of commission off of that, which is amazing and all around it's a good time. I'll put the link down below in the description. But I, I just, I love their shop so much and I, I knew I wanted to shop from there when I like figured, found out which video y'all voted on, which plant y'all voted on in my last wishlist video. So. Okay. So I, I, mm, this surprises me. So I got two plants. I think there should be one in each. I thought this one was going to be the other one. But this is actually the one that I picked out. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, so one, there's like freaking tons of packaging, which is fantastic. But I need to find a place to put it. <laughs> so it'll have to be the floor for now and I'll pick it all up. Cleo will probably chew all of it up as well. But you might be able to see what it is. Maybe, maybe not. So I've actually been speaking to Daniel at House of Kojo for quite a while um, about this plant. I kind of told him I was interested in one a while ago. It is actually a Monstera large form. Well, I'm not sure if this one is a large form or not, but I saw it and I was like, well, I feel like this will do. And the sort of leaves on it, he was showing me pictures. They are insane. So basically I told him I wanted one um, and we kind of like, he said, oh yeah, I'll have a look um, and we'll see if we can find one for you that you like and all that. So he's been like regularly updating me on that. And I think he would probably do that for almost anyone. If there's a plant that you're like very much interested in and you find something similar on their site or um, something like that, you can always shoot them a message over on Instagram and they'll try and like find you the plant that you're looking for. Um, so yeah, it is very exciting. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, um, I'm gonna shift the camera angle again and pull this out. <laughs> oh my good God. <laughs> it's huge. Oh. 
So if any of you are following me on Instagram, you might know that I semi recently got rid of my Monstera Deliciosa. I was just struggling with it for quite a while and I wasn't liking its sort of growth pattern and it just kind of stopped doing it for me. It kind of got really big for my space and I had this like massive trellis on it and it just got to be a bit too much for me. So I ended up giving it away to someone. So to replace it, because I do love having friggin Monstera Deliciosas in my home. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And I do, I like, I miss having one, but I don't miss the one I had. So um, it has been on my wish list for ages. And I'm hoping that this is a true large form. They didn't know if it was or not, but like, so just based off of the leaves, I feel like it definitely is. Like, look at those secondary fenestrations and this one too. And if you couldn't tell, it is ever so slightly variegated. Um, even the new growth has a tiny bit of variegation in there as well, which is so exciting. So it's like kind of like um, a large form variegated Monstera. I am hoping to get this on a pole soon. Like you can tell, it's not a very big plant. It has five leaves. So I'm hoping if I can get it on a pole, I can get it to start like putting out even bigger leaves. Though it is, it is like quite chunky. Like look at that stem. It is a chunky plant. So I'm really, really hoping that this grows the way I want it to, but it is just absolutely stunning. And I think it's like the perfect sort of replacement for the one I had and like wasn't doing it for me. So yeah, that's one. And then we have the plant in the other box, which I thought it was gonna be the other way around, but um, let's let's open that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a really big box. So this one actually also kind of has a story. Um, so I put in an order with House of Kojo for this plant only. Oh, by the way, the, the monster was 40 pounds. But I put in an order for this plant only um, and they actually ended up emailing me um, pretty soon after saying that the batch of Ornata that they had gotten in didn't pass their sort of like quality control and so that they weren't comfortable sending any out to me, which is, I think that's a, like the sign of a really good shop. Like they're not just in it for like business and money. They are trying to make sure that you're getting nice, happy, healthy plants, which is so important to me. That's like probably the most important thing when it comes to a plant shop, like that they're not trying to just like steal your money and give you a crap plant. So, Daniel then actually ended up reaching out to a different nursery and said that they had a customer that really wanted it or not to, and they had some that they could give him to give to me, or sell him to sell to me. So, I have, I have an or not to. Oh my god, it's gonna be freaking huge. That's the top of the leaf. This box is like a meter and a bit tall. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I am flipping out. This is way bigger than I thought it would be. He did say that it was bigger than the one I had ordered originally. So I knew it was gonna be bigger, but I don't think I realized how much bigger. Oh my God. Oh my god, this is freaking huge. Okay, um, it's literally raining. Um, <laughs> it's raining um, packing peanuts. <laughs> it's so big. I feel like it doesn't even fit in the paper. Oh my goodness, okay. So this is the plant that you all voted on, and it is a Calathea ornata. A Calathea ornata. 
Oh my freaking goodness. This is a big plant. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god, I am thrilled with this. It is stunning. So I have, I, I've i had an Ornata before and honestly, it was my favorite Calathea, my favorite Calathea I've ever had. And my old one lived for me so freaking well. Like I didn't even give it that much extra anything and it just thrived in my care. I think cause my home is just like naturally quite humid or was at the old place and still is at this place. I think because I have so many plants, my natural humidity is just like, not through the roof, but pretty freaking high. So it was perfectly fine living without that much extra. But then I got thrips and at the time I was just so overwhelmed with the amount of thrips I had that I was just like, I can't save this. So I got rid of it and I have since missed my Ornata. It is so stunning. Like I love these sort of really dark, almost black leaves with the sort of pink veining in there. Look at that. It is absolutely stunning. Oh my God. I am like over the moon with this. So mine, it wasn't huge, but it wasn't small either. I think my I was getting leaves like this size at the biggest on mine. But this one, the leaves, look how big that new leaf is. Oh my God. I was just saying how I don't have enough room for bigger plants and I've just got two massive plants. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm actually like so chuffed with this. Like, I know for a lot of people wishlist plant means like something rare and expensive that they're not ever gonna get. But I have like common plants on my wish list as well because just because it's like like common doesn't mean it's not freaking amazing. Like if, so, if you didn't know plants and someone told you that this was 300 pounds, I'd be like, yeah, but um, I do know plants. So I know it's not 300 pounds. I think this one, this one, it was originally like 24, 26 pounds but I think it was for a smaller one. I think the original one was probably about that size. So minus these big leaves at the top. But I, I am thrilled. I would have been thrilled with just that, to be honest. I wasn't expecting anything huge. Um, <laughs> I'm just a bit like lost for words. It is just so stunning. I feel so lucky. Like I know I paid for these, <laughs> but like I wouldn't have them if it was if it wasn't for all of you. Like I wouldn't have this or not uh, if y'all hadn't voted on it. I wouldn't have the New Guinea Ghost if my patrons didn't vote on it. Um, I mean, I probably would have the Monster because um, I, I picked that one out myself. Um, <laughs> but I just I feel so lucky and so thankful that all of you are around and helping like make my dream come alive. I'm gonna get really sappy now. Um, like this is genuinely my dream and I know I've said it in so many videos, but I wouldn't be able to do it without you because like it is your support by watching my videos or like being one of my patrons that I'm able to do this and I'm able to get some wishlist plants and I'm able to show you like different shops and show you my journey and how I'm caring for my plants and all of that. So I just really wanna give you a really big thank you and give you all a big hug. Um, thank you so much. I feel so lucky. Yeah, so that is it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and leave a comment on your wishlist plant. What's, what's on the top of your wishlist right now? Let me know um, and we can chat about it. But yeah, or any other houseplanty stuff down below, leave it in the comments. And yeah, subscribe for more. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.